Since the dawn of time, the Earth has been plagued by a force of unknown nature. The only evidence of its existence are the myths it has created. It is a force that many have seen, but those who have seen it have never lived to talk about it. This force has been called many things, but commonly known as zombie. <laughs> They can only come out on the night of each month when the moon is full. The gravitational pull of the Earth and the moon allows portals to be opened between two dimensions, the underworld and Earth, therefore allowing the zombies to enter our dimension. It is only at this time that they can walk the earth and feed. They must feed on the human flesh to ensure their existence. Once one has been bitten by a zombie, they contract the full moon fever and become zombies themselves. Most of the missing persons reported to government authorities are never found. There is only one explanation for their sudden absence, the full moon fever. They are no longer human. They are now creatures of the night. They are zombies. Several men have tried to face the zombies, but none have been successful in defeating them. Until now. of yours. This won't bring your parents back. Soon the entire human race will be non-existent and all humans will be like us. Join us, Ross. I can take you back to your parents. Don't let yourself suffer like this anymore. 
I will never willingly become a zombie. Never. I've just found the cure to the fever. You and your kind will once again be human. Just let me help you. No! Let me help you to understand. We are immortal. Cannot be killed by anything other than sun. All the creatures of the underworld are possessed by my power. I am king. Join us, and I will make you my equal. Shed yourself of this humanity, this life, whatever you call it. No, you're wrong, Culkin. <coughs> you have the same humanity underneath your skin that I do, only you're just infected with a disease that has hidden it from you. Tell me, Dr. Ross, have you found the zombie that took your parents from you? It was me. What are you going to do with those? Those chemicals are very unstable. <laughs> Why don't you just bite me? Get it over with! No, that would be too easy. I want to see you suffer first. Say goodbye to your cure, Doctor, and the human race. Your time is over.
Sorry, Miss Blake, if we caught you at a bad time. But you have something I want. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about your research. You've been following the work of the late Dr. Ross. Tell me, what have you found? I found that he was trying to find a cure for an unknown disease. Something he called full moon fever. Well done, Miss Blake, well done. And now... I must take that research from you. As well as your life. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, Hulker? <laughs> I'm Eclipse. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess. Good. I have to go now. Wait! Do you think you could get my briefcase? Your research is gone. something I want.
You have reached Walter Blake, and I am unable to come to the phone right now. Please leave your name, number, and a brief message after the beep, and I will return your call. Dad, if you're there, pick up. This is an emergency. I was attacked tonight, and I'm not sure what I should do. There were these strange men that grabbed me and knew things about my research on a disease that was recently discovered by Dr. Ross. I think that's why they were after me. Dr. Ross has been missing for a year, and I think they have something to do with it. But what scared me is that they look like zombies with the disease Ross had described. And a man called Eclipse saved me. I don't know what's going on, and I need your help. Call me as soon as you get this. I'm going to the police now. I love you.
seems that things have now become more complicated. Yes, very much so. Walter? She knows now. Yes, she does indeed. She called here and left a message about what had happened. I couldn't answer the phone, though. Something was forcing me not to. Perhaps it was fear. Fear of what she might learn. Is she all right? She's fine. But they were after her because she had this. She knows this much, she will eventually uncover my identity and find out about you too. How long do you think it'll take for your daughter to find out where you go at night? She's going to find out. Perhaps it is time to reveal things to her. Yes, it must be done. But it's uncertain how she'll react to the truth about her mother's death. She's been believing your stories this whole time. If we do tell her, we must do it carefully. Yes. Yes, you're right. The zombies are growing stronger, and there are not enough of us to fight them. We do need her help. So what do you want to do? I want to train her, as I trained you, to learn the art of the sword and the truth about our two worlds. All right. Then we will find her, and we will end this war. will pay for what he's done. Stood in my way for far too long. <clears throat> you should pay him a visit. You know, the next full moon eclipse will be mine. And there will be no one left to stop us! <laughs> task has been placed before me, one that I have feared for so long. The daughter of my mentor, Miss Blake, is now aware of the reality we live in, and now must take the path I once took. Like my parents, her mother was turned into a zombie when she was very young, only she doesn't know that's what happened. Unlike me, I was there to witness it from a distance as they ate the flesh of my mother and father. That's when Walter found me. After the zombies raided an old motel we were staying in, I have since pledged to destroy all the zombies. I came close once when I found the cure, but to administer it would be impossible. Now the only option is to fight them. But first, I'll need some help.
shed yourself of this humanity, this life, whatever you call it. No, you're wrong. <laughs> as well as your life. <laughs> Squeeze my neck because I can't. All right, dude. That's <laughs> your fault. Don't go be my dad. You see the silver thing or not? All right. You, that, you can't do that? You've been following the research of the name Dr. Ross. <laughs> I clung to you again. Did you bite my arm? <laughs> you are true. I found that he was trying to find a cure for some unknown disease. Something he called Moonlight Fever. I fucked it up. I said the wrong word. Action! Stupid. Jedi. 